Na rin po sa Provincial Government of Zamboanga del Sur led by Governor Victor Yu and First District Congresswoman Divina Grace Yu. Maraming maraming salamat din po. Kanila boss Dodong Pumaran, Ma'am Daisy Ann Pumaran sa Lodzod, Cagayan de Oro Vice Mayor Kikang Uy and Congressman Clarex Uy and also to Lance Samuel Cole. Shot lock, 19 seconds here. Rudy Linganay finds Jerome Ferrer. Fran Yu now. Fran Yu shot. No good, but he's down on the floor right now. Yung pag-angat niya, may naramdaman na siya na masakit dito sa kanyang kaliwang uh, thigh. I think it's a thigh or a hamstring. I think he was hit uh, on his left, yeah, left thigh. Left thigh sa tuhod ni Eloy Polegates. You know, it's just an accident. Yes, let's take a look at that drive once again. That drive. Yes, so oh, tumama nga yun. Yung pag-angat ka pa. Na-inda niya yun. Eh. Nakamdaman niya. Well, actually, hindi mo pa mamafeel yun eh. Tomorrow, for sure, Fran, you will felt that feel, one. Yeah. And a warning is called right now on the JPS bench for improper bench decorum. Coach Tony Pardo and the rest. JPS still on top here by eight. Here's Fran Yu. Fran Yu. Uh, there's a foul downstairs. That is foul called on. Jib Rather, Dan Sara called for the foul. First personal foul, first team foul for Alza Alayan. Fran Yu will inbound. Bilagay Gabi Espinas. Pass inside to Fran Yu. And where was the defense there of uh, Alza Alayan? Miscommunication by Tahonera and Larutin. Dalawa yung tao pumunta sa bola. Here is Dan Sara. Sara. Looking for a teammate. Pinakita si Larutin. Larutin. That is a steal there. Fast break. Fran Yu all alone. 31-19 hour score. Angat na sa 12 ang kalamangan ng JPS Zamboanga. Offense for Alza. So far, very stagnant. Oh, they're just playing iso ball, as you can see there. Yes. Polygrates, almost a turnover. You see them doing one-on-one -on -one plays. This team they should at least give the, get a good ball movement here. As you take a look at that extra pass to Rudy Linganay, to prime you all alone for the layup. No credit to Sambuanga's team defense. Their ball rotation. You see Daryl Cruz now sh there shooting. Nakikita natin one-on-one. -on -one. Ano ang laro lagi nitong uh, Alza Alayon. But that pass, Mac Macardona papunta. Kanino ba yung papunta? Actually, he thought Ferrer was stop on the three-point. Pero yun na nga naman eh. Ferrer is not an outside player. He's more of an inside, cutting, yes. rebounding. A slasher. That's, that's his game. That's why nilabas muna si Mark Macardona. Pinaltan nito nila JP Belenchon. Uh, Jerome Ferrer also checking out. Kyle Napes checking in. That drive there. Natapek ni Fran Yu. Mula kay Darryl Cruz. Darryl Cruz did not see Sara. Very open on that corner three. So far, the offense of Alza Alayon has been strong, struggling all game long. Dan Sara now has the ball. Sara, shot by Dan, it's good. The captain scoring on that play. Sampu na lang itong lamang ng JPS. Dipensa, Darryl Cruz, Anero ni Rutal. Leach, Leach-like defense. The ball na napunta kay JP. Belenchon. They know Belenchon is a shooter and he pops up a three. No good rebound, Dennis Da. That time, Polyglates making sure he's moving his feet to challenge the shot of Belenchon. Dan Sara will drive, and he was fouled, shooting a three-pointer. 
And Fran Yu will be called for the foul. For Alza Alliance, if they plan to shoot out against Alza Alliance, they will, against Zamboanga City, they will not win this game. They need more of stops here, especially on the half court offense of Zamboanga City. Dan Sara, the former San Pedro Lion, jumps to the free throw line. First free throw is good as these free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics. Anagi isang manok tumbayan. Second free throw now for Dan Sara. No good. You know, earlier on that defense by Polygatis, they need more of that from him and also for his teammates. Important lang, you're challenging all those shots. You're getting that backs out, getting that offensive rebound, crushing the boards. Kasi nga, your outside are not working. Your inside are also not working. So Matt might as well having those stops. And uh, third free throw now for for Dan Sara. And you see the numbers on the screen. Five points, one assist for the captain of the Alza Alliance Zamboanga. They makes two out of three on the trip. For Alza, they need more of their transition offense to get going. They're just having two points, fast break points here in this half. Brand new. Brigade Napes, Kaliwa, Kaeron Heruta. Brand new inside. Gabi contra Daa. Two former teammates match up here. Goes to you. Aaron Heruta for three. No, rebound. Nakwa. Nitan Sara, but the ball slipped out of his hands. Although it slipped in the, the ball is in his hands, it's okay. The good thing there, Tatlong Tao are ganging up for that rebound. Yun yung mga kailangan mo. Yun, you see there is Pinas. Magaling to sa positioning. Eh. All of his life is very good in the shaded area. Yes, uh, it's uh, underrated. Uh, itong si Gabi Espinas when you can talk about rebounding, but he can get those double doubles. Yeah, and, and he's and not that like... tall. Mas mataas pa nga dito si Dennis Daay. That is almost a steal, but there's a foul called. Let's see, the foul is called on JP Belenchon. Three possessions for some for some Buanga City. The defense of Alza Halay Alayon has been superb. They need to be like that if they want to win this game. Celada wide open for three. Bang, bang, bang. A yes. three point shot na yan ay sa inyo na LSC Construction. Three out of four for Celada is now connecting all those shots. Dito naman, kailangan nila will have their energy. I like this defense of Cruz against Hiruta. And here's Gabi Espinas. Binigay dito kay Belenchon. Back to Kyle Napes. Three ball. No rebound. Nakakuha ni Aaron Heruta. Go down the other way. Shot. Celada. Short yun. But still a good shot. Good outlet pass. I should have said same spot, same result. But you know that Andrean Celada can score any time. Nine points now for the former Arellano University Chief. 31-26. Lima na lang po. Abante dito ng JPS Zamboanga. Here's Fran Yu. Yu! What a scoop shot! Mula dito kay Fran Yu! Bad defense by Tahonera. Pinadaan lang eh. Darrell Cruz. That's a swipe there. Mula dito kay Heruta. Gabi Espina scoring. So that's a five points, or four points swing rather. Para dito sa JPN Zamboanga. Cruz was pressured there. Hindi kailangan pumunta sa gilid. That's a trapping zone. Dan Sara, three ball, no good. And right now, after getting a good run na dito for, for Alza Alayon, napapabayaan na naman nila yung kanilang uh, depensa. You can see Fran Yu, you can see uh, itong si Gabi Espinas leading the charge here. 
para sa pag opensa ng JPS. And talking about defense, their transition defense has been inconsistent here for Aza. Kailangan mas bata sila. Dapat sila yung mauna. Herota to Espinas at the post. Espinas looking for a teammate contra kay Dennis Da. That is a traveling violation call. Espinas, alam na nila. <laughs> That's why he slammed the ball so onto the board. Good yes. defense by Da. Siyempre, magkakilala, magkakilala na yan. Nagka, ilang beses na sila nagkansayo before in the PBA. So he knows how this guy moves. Talking about Dennis Da. Poligrata is now at the post. Contra kay Aaron Heruta. Isolation play here. Post up. Shot by Poligrates and he gets a foul called on Aaron Heruta. Fishing expedition for the veteran Poligrates against the younger Heruta. First personal foul called on Aaron Heruta. Katutungo sa free throw line si Eloy Poligrates. Nelo Ipoligrates there. Oh. The timeout is called here by JPS for the final 18.8 seconds. We will be right back. Seats for the next couple models going this. They don't even want to pick, want to lick up one of them. Yeah. I done made a couple hits, going hammer with a uh. pick. God handed me the gift, never slam a ball brick. Rolly ain't got a tick, I attract a lot of uh. ticks. Getting caught up in the mix, Hollywood, same chick. You take a look at Coach Bong Abad and the rest of the Alza Alliance Zamboanga. We are down here by nine. Contra dito. Kanila Jerwin Gago and the rest of the JPS Zamboanga. Again, JPS Zamboanga has a twice to beat advantage in this quarterfinals matchup. It's the four, uh, rather it's the five contra sa number six here in the playoffs. Five versus six. Kanina nga nanalo ang number eight squad. Kapatagang Buffalo Braves. Contrast to number three, Pagatian Explorers, forcing a do-or-die matchup tomorrow. So, abangan nyo po ang ating mga laro bukas. And Alza Alliance Zamboanga looking to add one more game for tomorrow. If they will continue to play like this in the first half, there will be no tomorrow. Yes, tama ka dyan. You know, we need more of production for Poligrates. Yes, he's defending. But the problem is, he's not hitting those shots. Here is Aaron Hiruta now. Looking for teammate, Billy King Fran Yu. Espinas. They can still afford to foul here. They have three fouls to give. Here is Rudy Linganay. Espinas inside. And they did not use that foul to give. And that makes it back to an eight point advantage 36. 28, you take a look at this pass. Lingana to Espinas finishing that play. And our score right now, it is 36-28. Sa ating pagbalik, the halftime stats in the third quarter of action. Dito sa inyong Chuxago, Pilipinas, Vismin Super Cup. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso at ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Choose to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme.
Hey. Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang yung stores? Hey. Po, Sir Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling roasters. Salamat na marami, sir. Sa kalan niyo ba, Idol? Tama na, hindi tayo close. <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling roasters, sumopra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Fuel us, we fuel you. Gatorade studies the best athletes to create the most advanced sports fuel with fluids, electrolytes, and carbohydrates. So you can play your best. Nothing beats Gatorade. For the next couple models going this. They don't even wanna pick. Wanna lick up one of them. Yeah. I done made a couple hits. Going hammer with a uh -huh. pick. God handed me the pick. Never slam for a brick. Yeah. Yeah. Rollie ain't got a tick. I attract a lot of dicks. Getting caught up in the mix. Hollywood, same chick. My TV. A television and digital channel that brings you stories and important updates through shows about different topics in business, health and wellness, politics, financial literacy, legal knowledge, travel, food, Music and the Arts Lifestyle Sports Faith And Current Events Tune in for relevant information, insightful discussions, and entertainment. Catch us on Sky Cable Channel 30 and on our Facebook page and YouTube channel at MyTV Cebu and our official website at MyTV.ph MyTV, my channel, your channel. Pagdating sa healthy chicken, sagot namin kayo sa Chooks to Go. Bili na ng classic honey glazed Chooks to Go sweet roast chicken o ang Chooks to Go Pepper Roast Chicken na marinated with pepper and herbs. At ang may tamang anghang sa kong sipa, ang Harissa Roast. Lahat ng aming manok ay laki sa alaga, hindi sa gamot. Garantisado, zero antibiotics. Kaya order na sa Chooks to Go Delivery Hotline, 8687-1010 o online sa Chooks to Go Delivery.com Facebook Messenger Go buy at Grab Food at Food Panda. Just to go, the healthiest manok na masarap kahit walang sauce. Another first from Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporated.
Nakatuto po pa rin po kayo sa Chukstugo, Pilipinas, Vismin Super Cup. Live na live po dito sa Pagadian City Gymnasium. Halftime score is 37-28 in favor of JPS Zamboanga City. Puso ang papairali ng Alza Alayon Zamboanga for today para meron pa silang pagkakataon bukas. At yung mga yan nangyari nila past few games ay dapat na nilang kalimutan at gawing lakas. Dahil ibang laban na itong quarterfinals. On the other hand, JPS Zamboanga City will be taking more advantage sa pagbabalik ni na Gabi Espinas at Rudy Lingane just in time to stop the shooters of Alza Alayon Zamboanga. Lalo pat napakalaking tiwala ni Coach Tony sa mga players nila dahil mentality nila for today is a must win kahit na twice to beat advantage sila. Back to you Coach Alvin. Much later, our score right now is 37-28, a nine-point advantage for the JPS Zamboanga City. As we take a look at the halftime highlights, Dennis Da. There are the perimeter scoring there, and Mac Macardona and the partnership with Jerwin Gago scoring on that play. Dan Sara, a scoop shot there, and good passing here by JPS as they take does at the lead here by nine as we take a look at our halftime stats take a look at the numbers on your screen right now a plus 15 advantage on rebounding for JPS Zamboanga and talking about assist 11 to 6 bench points yes plus 3 yung Alza Alayon but they're Starting five, their strong five, are not hitting the shot of the first half. Talking about Poligrates and Sara. And uh, let's take a look at their leading scorers right now. Uh, Fran Yu and Gabby Espinas leading the way for JPS with eight apiece. Linganay and Jerwin Gako with five. Celada leading the way for JPS with nine points. Dan Sara with six. Charles Pepito and Eloy Poligrates with four. A piece at sa ating pagbabalik na third quarter of action dito sa inyong quarterfinals matchup between the JPS Zamboanga City and the Alza Alliance Zamboanga. Seats for the next couple models on this. They don't even want to pick, want to lick up, want to. Yeah. I done made a couple hits, going hammer with a uh -huh. pick. God handed me the gift, never slam for a brick. Yeah. Yeah. Rolly ain't got a tick. I attract a lot of uh -huh. ticks, getting caught up in the mix. Hollywood, same chick. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong endorse. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo, ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Chooks to go, ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. 75 remains, Tatum with the drive. You fuel us, we fuel you. Gatorade studies the best athletes to create the most advanced sports fuel with fluids, electrolytes, and carbohydrates. So you can play your best. Nothing beats Gatorade.
37 28 hour score and before we enter our third quarter of action ng ating bakbakang JPS Zamboanga kontra Alsa Alliance tingnan muna natin ang ating top 10 plays mula sa elimination round ng inyong Mindanao Leg Ito ngayon Marlon Monte Monte, two seconds left on the shot clock. At Chinigo! Bang, bang, bang! Inside to Gabi Espinas. Pass, brand new. Kaliwang Mahage, Med Salim. Drive is good for Med Salim. Here is Sara. Dinalikin Tahonera. Ikot ang bola, Eloy. Oh, what a move. Deceptive move. Scoring on that play. What? Shot clock, game clock difference of 11 seconds. Da, 4 3. Bang, bang, bang! <laughs> Esed Gabo, pass. Mike Quico scoring there. And this is his breakout performance of the Mindanao. Dami nang napadalunan. He was judged as an NCAA MVP. And nice move, Mula Jackie John Wilson. Started strong here for Clarice. Reyes. James Castro. Jordan Santana. Jordan. No lead. Ito. Si Gabi Espinas. Rudy Lingana. Pass to Jordan. Gako. To Fran Yu. Fran Yu looking to push his way inside. Oh, that's a wide open four shot para dito. And Jermaine Gako. Here's Coach GPS now is moving the ball more. No. Abelio. Abelio drop pass to Dan Sara. Open. Napulot ang rebound ni Eloy. Turn around. Lucky bounce. 180 degrees. Turn around. Lay up Eloy. Sara, they need to get the ball to Silada here. Tingnan natin kung hanapin ba siya. At Abelio. Nice move para kay JC Abelio. Right now, they are on top here by 9.37.28 as we start our third quarter of action ng Bakbakang Alza Alliance Zamboanga and JPS Zamboanga City. Alvin Tanyana together with Paul Hoven bring you our main game. Kasama rin natin si Leo Coronado sa, as our courtside reporter. And right now, Alza looking to get more points here as they start off with one of their strongest five here. Scott Experto missing a three. Dan Sara scoring inside. Now, talking about they need more scoring. Da'a, only two points on the first half. Pole gratis, one out of four, just four points. They cannot win without those two producing. Yes, and uh, ito namang sa kabilang kuponan, even though, yes, Jerwin Kako only scoring five points, meron siya namang seven rebounds. Jerome Ferrer skying high for the rebound. Aaron Heruta. Heruta. That is an offensive foul called on Aaron Heruta. Good stop for Alza. Earlier on their offense, they've been 
passing so well. Let's take a look at that. Yun, nakita yung warning of it. Nitong si Aaron Heruta on Dan Sara. They need more consistency for the ball movement here for Alza. Pepito, top of the key. Binigay kay Poligrates contra Mac Macardona. And the post up inside the Dennis Daa. That's a foul on Ferrer as he holds up. Dennis Daa. And Ferrer called for his first personal foul. So far, Coach Alvin, oh, maganda yung tinatakbo. Two straight possession here for Alza Alayon. They've been moving the ball so well. Got Experto. Shot, masyado malakas. Rebound ni Jerwin Kako. Here's Aaron Heruta. Aaron finds a teammate in Mac Mac. Balik dito kay Jerwin. Mac Mac. Pass inside. Jerwin Gago. Extra pass. Jerome Ferrer. Nahuli ni Charles Pepito. Same defense there. Pepito and Sara. Seven seconds still left on the shot clock. Jerome Ferrer checks out. Masok muna sa loob si Gabby Espinas. Forward pass it on. Garex Puerto, the high flyer, scores. You know, I like that pass on Sara. If it's not working on the half court offense, better have that transition offense and a quick outlet pass by Sara to Puerto. And there is a timeout called here by coach Tony Pardo. Uh, as we take a look at this one, not combined chibog of the game. Ito ang malapit na chibog of the game. Ni Garek Sperto, natin sa inyo na chips to go. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. We will be right back. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko, ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Chokes to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. This is how this JPS Zamboanga City needs Mac Macardona. Look at, look at this averages. This is not the usual average of a captain hook. Oh, it, especially for their backcourt. They need more of Mac Mac. Kasi nga, it's been an up and down for Bill and Sean. Yes, and uh, averaging only 8.4 points. It was Captain Hook in limited minutes. Eh? Ito. So, Captain Hook. Narinig kaya tayo ni Captain Hook, no good on the shot. Jerwin Kako, no good. Rebound, Captain Hook, one-hander is good. Here is Poligrates inside. And that is last touch on Garex Berto. Linganay there, nakaisa. Veterano eh. Ito si Rudy Linganay. Inutaka niya. Ito ang sigar eksperto sa pestuhan sa poste. Eh, Heruta now. Aaron Heruta. Posting up against Dan Sara. Shot. No good. Rebound. As we turn it over now to uh, Lea Coronado with this report. Lea. Ngayong second half, Alza Alliance Zambuanga ay dapat go hard talaga at mas tatrabahuin pa nila ito para meron pa silang lalaroin at babalikan bukas. Ayan yung kay Coach Bong, intense defense, control the board and run more for the ball. Ang napaka-importante yung dapat gawin nila ngayon dahil hindi nila hahaya ang mas lalaki pa ang lamang ng kalaban. And as you can see, todo support ang mga teammates niya on the sideline din doon sila mas mamotivate maglaro. Balik sa inyo. And uh, look at this, Eloy Poligrates. With that nice reverse, hindi nga lang pumasok. And then his intensity to win this ball game. And nakikita natin with his reaction. Of course, no? Ito na nga, no? This is already a playoff time. For me, it's a good foul. Just trying to stop the transition. Kasi nga, 
wala na sa posisyon yung Alda. And right now, ito, postehan dito ng dalawang nasa matchup. Oy, Eloy Poligrates and Mac Macardona. That's a foul called on Eloy. And you see Eloy Poligrates there on your screen, Mac Macardona. Let's see, let's see. We push two others in the middle. Kanina, kanina pa itong dalawang to na may girean because both of them I believe played uh, in the PBA nagkasabay uh, sila but on different uh, times ito si Mac Mac played for Meralco while itong si Eloy played for uh, Talk and Text Yeah, I think uh, Polagans played for TNT back in the PBA At naging, ah, man, naging mag-teammate din pala sila in Air 21 So, magkakilala, magkakilala rin itong dalawa. Nice extra pass! Jerwin Gako to, to Gabby Espinas. Here is Dan Sara now. Sara moves inside and he was fouled. Well, from a five-point lead. Now, lumobo na naman to a nine-point. Good drive there for Sara. Hindi nila ma-break eh. Yung 5-point barrier na yan eh. Kanina ganun din na nangyari. As we take a look at this pass by Franyu. Next the pass to the cutting Gabby Espina for the score. As what Lea Coronado said on the report, they need more to run in order for them to get that easy points. Dan Sara missing his first as these free throws are brought to you by Chooks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics na nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Taunera checking in for Charles Pepito. Dan Sara, second free throw is good. Heruta now. Pass to Gabby Espinas. Here is Fran Yu. Yu, shot. No good. Rebound. Last, or there's a foul called on Jerwin Gako. Battling for possession, Tahonera and Gako. Gako was called for a loose ball foul. Jerwin Gako. Let's take a look at that shot by Franyu. Here he found that. Jerwin Gako, he was able to get the two that were pulled out there. He's called for the foul. Here is JC Abelio. Abelio is also silent here. Scoreless in this matchup. And there's a foul away from the ball. The foul is called on Fran Yu. Sarah wanting that possession. He really wants to have that pose up play against Fran Yu. Sambuanga is now already in the penalty. Yes. Six minutes left here in the third quarter. This will be an advantage for Alza Alayon. And Fran Yu, Gar Experto, nagkakwentuhan doon. Lumapit si Uncle Jervin doon. Dan Sara misses the first. Second free throw now for Dan. Dan Sara. This is not the usual numbers. You can see in a point guard, missing one out of two from the free throw line from every trip. So, kailangan ma-perfect na yan ni Dan Sara because those free throws might get them here in this ballgame. Yeah, it will hunt you later on. Two out of four so far on that last two possessions for Sara. Shot to Captain Hook, no good. Rebound na last touch on Jerwin Gako. You, you know, give credit to Gako. Not the oldest guy on the court, but the first one to dive for the ball. All about the intangibles of the game. If you really want to win this game, you need one of those. Dami na nila. Ang dami nila dito eh. Mga age na hindi pinapansin yung edad. Like ito nga, si Jerwin Gako, Dennis Da, even Shaq Taganas. Those guys are diving for the loose balls as Dan Sara misses that shot. Ero Neruta, pass. Jerwin Gako drives against Tahonera. No good. Rebound, Dennis Da. They need to run here. They need to attack this fast break. Abelio fouled 
And that is foul downstairs on Fran Yu. That's a good drive by Havelio. Very aggressive on that fast break. Kasi nga, penalty na yung Sambuanga. They need to have easy points, especially at the free throw. Let's take a look at that drive mula kay JC Havelio. As he will shoot to the free throw line. To shoot two free throws. These free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics. Ang nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ayan, palitan ng tao dito. Belenchon and Kyle Napes checking in. While Celada checking in for Alza Alayon. Second free throw is also good. Last four points for Alza Alayon. It's been coming in the free throw, so they need to be more aggressive and attacking that shaded area. Herota. Cal Nepes. Labas dito kay JP Belenchon. Tahonera. Trying to let Nepes shoot that three. Espinas shot. No good. Rebound Dennis Da. This is a five point lead. This is the barrier. Na hindi ma break nito ang Alza Alliance Zambuanga. Let's see if they can break this. They and need. They move the ball. Ito, nagiging stagnant naman eh. Celada, balik dito. Dan Sara. Tahonera for three. Fouled by Aaron Heruta. Third personal foul called on Aaron Heruta. You know, the way Tahonera shoots kasi, he's mo always moving forward. Kaya nga natawagan. Si Heruta on the three-point foul. At uh, tutungo sa free throw line si Jeff Tahonera to shoot three. And as we head into this timeout, our, we would like to thank our major sponsors. Chicks to go. Most especially to Bounty AgriVentures Incorporated President Mr. Raul Mascarinas and Sir Mel Mack, Gatorade, Puma, MDC, WCube Solutions, and Virox. Also, maraming salamat sa inyong suporta. Kokalyon Shipping Lines, ARQ Builders, Coach Car Scares, Rad Chameleon Custom Apparel, CSAS, RCG Sportswear, Casino Alcohol, Zoe Lex Photography, Athena Videography, FJE Graphics, Isui House of Beauty, Bay Plaza Hotel, Cheeky's Pizza, where pizza happens, RJ Touch and Cure, MN Pamaran Lending Investors, Triple J Fast Food, LSC, Globe, Daisy's Meat Shop, Dr. P Center, Center for Diabetes Care and Hypertension, Camp Health Medical Clinic, PLDD, and DMC Sportswear. At maraming salamat din po. Kanila pagadian City Mayor Sammy Com, pagadian City Councilor Sam Tyra ko, pati na rin kay Lance Samuel ko, pati rin sa Provincial Government of Samuang Adult Sur led by Governor Victor Yu and First District Congresswoman Divina Grace Yu. Maraming salamat din kanila Boss Dodong Pamaran, Ma'am Daisy Ann Pamaran sa Lutsod, and to Kagayan de Oro, Vice Mayor Kikang Uy and Congressman Clarex Uy. And there was a technical foul called uh, habang na, na, nasa timeout tayo due to improper bench decorum. That's the second time. That means a technical free throw para dito as this free throw is brought to you by Chips to Go 100% Zero Antibiotics and nag-iisang manok ng bayan. You know, that free throw of Dennis Daa, his team is hoping he will start that offensive barrage. So far for this game for Daa, only his third point. Yes, and three free throws now will be awarded to Jeff Tahonera. First free throw ni Jeff is no good. As these free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go 100% Zero Antibiotics and nag Manok Tambayan. Talking about barrier, only four points na lang. Yes, so, oh, because of the technical free throw. And uh, can make that three points na lang to. Still manageable. Still anything can happen. Here in this game, still anybody's ball game. The one, the one that's uh, making it a survival, and that's why they're cutting the lead for Alza Alayon. Is that some Buanga early in this qu third quarter on that last, on that sixth minute, is already on the penalty. Two out of three in that stripe. Para dito kay Jeff Tahonera, and the lead is down to two. Here is Gabby Espinas. Contra Dennis Da. Shot. Malakas yan. Rebound. Nakuha ni Dennis Da. Go down the other way here. 
That's an open shot there for Espinas. Pass the Hapelio, no good. Steal, Mikhail Lipes. Back. Here is Franyu. Franyu inside. Gabby Espinas at the post. One on one matchup. That pass to Jerome Ferrer. Now, who lane? Now, my foul. It was JC Hapelio. It's still a good foul. One more foul before Alza is now on the penalty. They need more, one more foul. First personal foul called on JC Abelio. A good position by Ferrer against a smaller Abelio. That's only the third team foul for Alza Lyon. And that is a good cut there from the former NU Bulldog, Kyle Naples. Bad help. Tahonera. Wala namang advantage dun eh. Espines against Daa. They need to be smart on that help. There's a foul on Gabby Espinas and Dennis Daa. And JPS now in team penalty. Galahat ng fouls. Now JPS will mean free throws as that is a nice pass to Kyle Napes for the score. Dennis Daa on the free throw line to shoot two. These free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics and nagisang manok tambayan. First free throw and that is out. And and on the ko si Dennis da uh, before the season started, Paul. Sabi niya, this could be his last hurrah in uh, basketball. But with the way that he is showing here, is this possible? Na last hurrah na kaya to, ni Dennis da? Yeah, actually he was the late addition for this team. He just agreed around June second week before coming here to Pagadian. And that's a free throw, Pasok yan. And Dennis Daa averaging 15 points in this ball game. Uh, 15 points and 10.1 rebounds here in the tournament. Only 4 points and 7 rebounds for him. But the way he looks, the way he's playing here in this Mindanao leg, he has more, two more good years. That's the way I see this guy. And uh, nakita mo kayo Jojo Tangkay dun eh. Yun de, yung uh, Ridontilla sa Visayas leg. Age yeah. is just really a number. Kyle Napes gets the ball. Here's Rudy Linganay. Linganay now. Double team. Lumagpas sa depensa. Rudy, no good. Rebound na kuha. Nimuneva. Here's Abelio. One on one. Sky. No. Sky layup yun. Wala doon. Ferrer, binigay dito kay Franyo. Franyo. Jerwin. Binigay dito kay Rudy Linganay. Linganay, 5 points only in this game. Ferrer, shot inside and it's good. Plus, my foul bang kabut. You know, Ferrer has been the energy guy for Sambuanga. Always very active, especially getting back on defense. Let's take a look at that nice pass to Rudy Linganay to Jerome Ferrer for the score. And Jerome Ferrer will shoot the bonus. This free throw is brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics. Anak iisang manok ng bayan. Free throw is good. Two minutes and 55 remaining. Balik na naman sa anin na punto sa kalamang andito ng JPS ng Buanga. A low scoring game here. This will be an interesting finish. On who will get this win here? Wala yung tira ni Habello. Rebound scramble. Nakita na nakaapak na sa labas itong si Kyle Neves. That's, that's a good drive by Habello. Hindi na talaga na shoot. But again, Dennis Daa. Battling still on the shaded area. We need guys like Celada, Tahonera. They need to crush the board. That's, yeah. that's just against one, against three. Celada nga, tahimik na dito, Paul. Only nine points after scoring big three balls in the first half. Still scoreless here in the second half. Oh, wala pa siyang ginagawa nga dito, no? Here is a three-pointer by Russell Muneva. No good. Rebound. Rudy Linganay. The Anay Linganay. And we'll set things up here. Rudy. Pass inside. Jerome Ferrer. No good. Rebound. Nakuha ni JC Abelio. G gives it up. Dennis Daa. That pass. Papunta. Sa? Kanina ba mapunta yun? 
Sayang, no? they were up and running on the transition offense. But again, two straight possessions. They've been settling on the outside shot. Nakalimutan nila that Sambuanga is already on that penalty. And uh, Dar Cruz and Dan Sara checking in. Uh, kasama si Gerardo Flores, papalitan si Russell Moneva, JC Bellio, and Jack Tahonera. Two minutes and eight remaining dito sa ating third quarter. Look at the defense of Darren Cruz here. Ano na, i-release na bola doon. Shot clock at eight seconds. Six seconds on the shot clock. Rudy Lingganay shot. No good. Rebound. Rudy Lingganay. Here is Fran Yu. Pass. Jerwin extra pass. Jerome Ferrer scores. And the cutters such as ito sila Jerome Ferrer. Kanina si Gabi Esquinas. They are getting the points here in the inside. You know, Ferrer has been doing wonders for Sambuanga. Always very active, especially on offense. Dennis Das, fade away, no good. Rebound, Garrix Puerto. Dan Sara's jumper is good. I think there's a foul after the shot. Yes, tina natin ang uh, tatawag dito. Nating referee. Uh, pumito kasi itong si referee Wilbert Kulanag. Let's see. Let, let's hear it from Jorvi Villanueva. Oh, there's a technical foul called on Jerome Ferrer for second motion. Gamesmanship for Dennis Daa. Yes. Baka natamaan siguro earlier, no? Hindi na natin nakita kasi nga, always the retaliation. Yung makikita ng referee after that shot by Sara. So this free throw is brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics. And nag-iisang manok ng bay. And Dennis Daa missing that technical free throw. Charles Pipito checking in for Dennis Da, Aaron Heruta and JP Belenchon checking in for Fran Yu and Rudy Lincanay. Charles Pito for Dennis Da. Dennis Da stepping out with only four points and eight rebounds here. Rebounding, yes. Maabol siya sa average niya, but scoring, yeah, that's below his average. So far, this is a good quarter for Aza. They've been defending and pressuring the ball handler of Sambuanga City. That's how you play basketball. And uh, I think yung first half, you know, we can feel Alvin. Kitang kita mo energy that what lacks and aggressiveness for Alza Alayon. And uh, tutuloy pa ng palitan dito. Mac Macardona will be checking in. <laughs> Yeah, replacing Cal Napes. So this is more of a scoring lineup that Pinasa ni Coach Tony Pardo with Balenciano and Cardona at your wings and Aaron Heruta at the point. Heruta. Pass. Jerome Ferrer. Ferrer. Hule. Nigera Flores. Here is Sara. Forward pass. Garex Puerto. That pass is uh, too strong for Garek Puerto. That's a good pass. There, just a bad catch let's, by Puerto. Let's take a look at this. Uh, Malokong Bayan block of the game. Ang harap para pong buto na yan na ito sa inyo. Nagsit sila, nag-iisang Malokong Bayan. Jerome Ferrer in this, uh, in the Mindanao leg is averaging only 3.1 points and 1.7 rebounds. In this game, he has 7 points already and 5 rebounds. That's plus seven for you from the bench. Belenchon pass to Jerwin. Mac Mac for three. Bang, bang, bang. That's a three-point shot there. I added to ng casino alcohol. No one running back on defense there. Para dito sa kuponan ng JPS as that is a shot there. And an offensive foul is called. On Jerwin Kako. Credit the defense of Abelio. He's really fighting that space of 
Gago, pero yun na nga, no? Gago, not on a good position. And JC Habelio. Masakit Walking yun, off. Let's see. Tingnan natin yung pressure na yan, yung JC Habelio. But you see there, Jerwin Gago setting a screen there na tumama nga dito kay JC Habelio. You see Jerwin Gako on your screen right now. 5.9 rebounds for the former DLSU standout. Still a 7-point lead with 28 seconds remaining. Darrell Cruz for 3! At yung 3-point shot na yan. Ito sa inyo na casino alcohol. No, no need to foul here. Both teams are in the penalty. JC Abello playing good defense on... Heruta, but I spoke too soon. There's a foul called on JC Habelio. Penalty situation, parehas na kapunan, meaning free throws will be given to Aaron Heruta. That's a bad foul by Habelio. He needs to go in the front. Let's see that big three-pointer mula dito kay Darrell Cruz. That is his first three points of this ball game. Aaron Heruta, first free throw is good for the Ilo, Ilo native the former CEU Scorpion, Aaron Heruta, as these free throws are brought to you. By Chicks to Go, 100% zero antibiotics and nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Aaron Heruta, second throw. No good. Rebound, Garek Puerto. Jera Flores, binigay dito kay Daryl Cruz. Cruz, pass inside. Puerto. Or that Pepito rather with a shot and no good para magtapos ang ating third quarter of action. It is 47 for Elsa Alliance Zamboanga. 52 para sa JPS Zamboanga as we take a look at our some of our plays here in the third quarter. Got Experto, Mac Macardona. This was a big three-pointer by Darrell Cruz to close out the quarter. But the good passing of the JPS Zamboanga City Squad takes them to a five-point lead. Fourth quarter of action, Sadiq Pagpubalik. Hey, Sir Benji, may inireklamo na naman daw po kayo. Ang sarap-sarap ng uling roasters ko. Bakit ko konti lang in stores? <laughs> Pusto Ronald, patulfo ka ng patulfo. Eh, nasa harap mo na ang solusyon. <gasps> Buksan mo manok mo. Masarap ang uling rosters. Salamat na marami, sir. Saka alam niyo ba, Idol? Tama na, hindi tayo close. <laughs> <laughs> Dahil sa buhay, kailangan mo ng kasangga. Uling Roasters, sumobra sa sarap. Pasensya na. Please like and share our Facebook page at Pilipinas Wismin Super Cup Official. And to watch our games from the Visayas leg through the Mindanao leg, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pilipinas Wismin Super Cup. Fourth quarter of action about to start. Batiin muna natin mga ating mga manonood dyan sa labas, sa Plaza Luz. I hope everything is okay sa inyo dyan sa labas. And also pinapabati ni Basilan uh, player Darwin Lenore, kanyang asawa, at si Riley and Sophia. Yes, so mga nanonood daw sa atin ngayon. And then of course, yung asawa ni Poligat is Alexander from California. Yes, and German Gago there missing. And lots of fans so nanonood, not just from the Visayas and Mindanao region, but uh, also from uh, all over the world. Oh, yes. Saying hi, good evening, all the way here from Pagadian City. Alza now needs a good start. Maganda yung nilaro nila sa third quarter overall compared to that first half. Yes, and uh, ito nga nga, uh, na ng Alza needs to get the more scoring here. Uh, they scored 19 points in the third quarter as a timeout is called by coach Bong Abad and the rest of the Alza Alliance Zamboanga we will be right back still a five point lead for JPS
Fuel us, we fuel you. Gatorade studies the best athletes to create the most advanced sports fuel with fluids, electrolytes, and carbohydrates. So you can play your best. Nothing beats Gatorade. The numbers of the captain of the Alza Alliance Zamboanga, Dan Sara. Captain's call, 11.7 points, 5.8 assists. 2.8 rebounds for the captain, but today he has 12 points, one assist here in this ball game. Yeah, he needs more of a scoring here for Aza. They need more of him to win this game as Poligrates only has four points. Yes, yeah, so Poligrates four points. Then it's the four points. So these are the players now expected. To score nine points is Elada, but all in the first half. Daa, step back. Look at the defense, Morani Espinas, and that's a foul called on Gabi Espinas. Let's take a look at that. Second personal foul on Gabi Espinas there. Inbound here, Pepito, binigigit Dennis Da. Daryl Cruz, Cruz, Dan, Sara for three. No rebound. There's a foul called on I Ger think, yeah, Jerwin Gacko. Yes, the foul is Jerwin Gacko. That's an open shot for Sara on the corner three. Second team foul for JPS. Pepito gets the ball. Darren Cruz. 10 seconds on the shot clock. Cruz. Cruz slicing the middle for the score. Cruz now five points from the bench. Again, no, nothing's going good for offensive wise for Polyglates. But kailangan talaga yung bench no, if you really want to extend this game to another day. Three-pointer, Belenchon, no good. Rebound, Gabi Espinas, and there's a foul called on Eloy Poligrates. That's a bad foul. That will be his fourth personal foul. Poligrates called for his fourth personal foul. Let's take a look at this nice slice in the middle by Darren Cruz. JC Abelio checking in for Eloy Poligrates. Abelio also struggling here in this matchup. Cardona pass. Erota. Brigadito Franyo. You. Nice split on the defense. Scoring on the layup. And the Latran Knight scoring on that play. And now a five point lead. Para dito si JPS. Franyo has been very aggressive this game. Inahanap talaga niya yung laro niya. Is very important for this team because you, know, you expect that Cardona can play 13 minutes per game. Nice pass by Darrell Cruz to an easy two-pointer by Charles Pepito. 54-51, still a three-point lead. And you see here the post-up. Nakita nila yung mismatch on Mac Mac and Dan Sara. So that's a foul. Take a look at this one combined assist of the game. Our swapping assist is brought to you by Chipsy Go. 100% zero antibiotics sa nag-iisang manok kumbayan. Substitutions pa rin tayo. Celada now checking in for Dan, for Darryl Cruz. Rather for Dan, Sara. I like this substitution. Quick rest for Sara. Celada again. Scoring nine points in the first half. Dun sa third, wala. And nakaka-play doon. Wala eh, hindi na habol ni Jeff Tahonera itong si Gabi Espinas. Good positioning for Espinas against Tahonera. And now, here is Darrell Cruz. 
Pass inside, Celada. Nice cut and nice basket there from JC Abelio. Four points now for JC Abelio. Good offense there for Alza. They're now moving away from the ball, cutting, challenging that interior defense. Fran Yu finds Aaron Herota. Herota posting up. Ito naman si Darrell Cruz. Pass, Napes. Four seconds on the shot clock. Napes. No good at Herota foul there. Kitang kita na hinila dito ni Jeff Taunera mula sa likod yung jersey. Yeah, Nito he, ni Aaron Herota. He thought the referee has at the back. Aaron Conieta on the side clearly sees Taunera. Baka pwede pa itong maging technical kasi nga jersey. Jersey na hinila. Yeah. Yeah, let's take a look at that. Yung nakita sa likod. Yung hawak sa jersey na yun. So Aaron Herota. Tubong Iloilo from uh, CEU. Isa sa mga naging teammates din ni J.K. Casino and Joseph Sedorifa. These free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go 100% Zero Antibiotics sa nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Ito, pabati lang ni Coach Miguel Borilla. Uh, body niya na si Renan Tasabak, Mark, Mark Belolo, and Emmanuel Matic. Second free throw now for Aaron Heruta. Four points, four rebounds now. Naging kakampi rin to eh. Ni Jeff Tahonera sa San Juan Knights sa uh, MPBL. So he makes the free throw to go. Jan Sara, binalik na sa loob ni Coach Bongabad. Celada kontra Herota. Celada, jumper, no good. Rebound, nakuha nitong si Rudy Linganay. Bad decision for Celada. Settling for a shot, a jump shot against a smaller Heruta. Fran Yu now. Yu. Fran Yu looking for a teammate. Finds Kyle Napes. Shot from three. And it's good. It's a three point shot. And I think it's in your House of Beauty. No, for us, a better shot selection. Especially here in the fourth quarter. Posting in Dito. Daa, pass, Celada moves closer and 11 points now for Andrean Celada. That time, Celada, good decision, challenging the defense of Heruta. Yun yung mga kailangan niya, don't settle for a fadeaway shot. Fran Yu, long three ball for Fran Yu, that's short, but Heruta gets the ball back. Pass, Rudy Lingkanay. Lingana, who had a spin move, pero napigilan doon. Dahil natin si Dennis Da, shot lock at 3 seconds. The ball will stay with the white shirts. Good, good. Defense by Habelio. Trying to cut that hand off pass. Espinas to Lingana. And timeout is called here by the JPS of Buanga City. 61-55, lamang pa sila ng anim dito sa ating fourth quarter. Rebounder ng Bayan sa Diyado ang ilalim kahit Charles Rebito ang ating rebounder ng Bayan natin sa inyo ng Chicksigawa na isang manok ng Bayan. And you see Charles Rebito on your screens right now. Dennis Da there. Fran Yu There Gabi Espinas In your screens right now Good Malaking bagay Paul na nandito na nga siya ulit For JPS It's Two seconds Fran Yu Three No good rebound But there's a foul called on Let's see oh. <laughs> Fran Yu Para na mapansin ko dito Paul Brand new, helping everybody up here. <laughs> well, the candidate, Shannon. Yes. 
Sportmanship Award. Yeah, again. isa siya sa mga kandidato talaga. Sarah clearly grabbing Ferrer on that rebound. Again, you need to do all the necessary things, all the intangibles. Boxing out, diving for the ball. We are now on the crunch time. Yes, mapunta na tayo nga sa halfway mark of this quarter. Jerome Ferrer, no good. Rebound na kuha ni Dennis Daa. Dennis Daa, that's rebound number nine. Here is Dan Sara. Nagiging Dennis Daa. Daa, three ball. And he was fouled, taking a three ball. Clearly a foul there by Espinas. He was on the landing spot of Dennis Daa. So that means three free throws. Let's take a look at that. Very clear that it is a three-pointer. Three so Dennis Daa will shoot three free throws. No good on the first. These free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics and nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Dennis Daa, two missed free throws in the final quarter. This will be crucial here. Second free throw is good. One more. For Dennis Da. Pasok din yan. Two out of three on that trip. Six points. Nine rebounds now for him. Fran Yu. Nandulas doon. Pero nakatayo agad doon. Rudy Linganay. Contra Habelio. Linganay now. Five seconds on the shot lock. Fran Yu drives in. Nice move there. Pero wala. Rebound caught. Ito si Dennis Da. Here is Dan Sara. Three ball. That's short. Rebound. Rudy Linganay. Halfway mark na nga tayo na ating fourth quarter. Here is Linganay. And that's a timeout called by Rudy Linganay. As we... Head into a timeout. 61 57, still a four point lead for JPS Zamboanga. Floor seats for the next couple models going this. They don't even want to pick, want to lick up, want to. Yeah. I done made a couple hits, going hammer with a uh -huh. pick. God handed me the gift. Never slam him for a brick. Rollie ain't got a tick. I attract a lot of ticks. Getting caught up in the mix. Hollywood, same chick. We are heading into a mandatory timeout. Parendito. And still our score. Magbabalik po tayo. Once again, our score is 61-57. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso. At ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Choose to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorme. Gabby Spinas on your screen right now with 12 points. Fran Yu with 10 points leading the way for... The JPS Zamboanga City as they are still on top here by 461-57. Jerome Ferrer, balik kay Rudy Lingana, is chopped in there by the Zamboanga City native is good. That's too easy for Lingana. Eh? Seven points now for Rudy with six rebounds. Puerto, binigay dito kay Cruz. Darren Cruz. 2-3 zone shown by Zamboanga. Ikot ang bola, Habelio. Drive. Nakuha ni Darren Cruz, shot lock at three. Pass inside, Pepito, extra pass to Dennis Da. Good recognition by Pepito with one second left on the shot clock. 
Charles Pepito with a steal and a high in the sky layup for Charles Pepito. It's now a two point lead, just a single possession. No need to foul here, Alvin. Yes. Alza is now on the penalty. And kailangan ng talagang maayos na defensa at kailangan ng maayos na discarte. Fran News pass, Jerome Ferrer. Right place at the right time para dito sa big man ng JPS na si Jerome Ferrer. Bad defense by Pipito. Hindi nag-move it. Lateral, he should have cut down the lane of Fran Yu. He tried to steal the ball. Nine points now for Jerome Ferrer. Abelio contra Linganay. Abelio looking to dance his way inside. Nice move, pero no good. Para dito ay Abelio, rebound na control ng JPS. You know, nakita ko sa puerto doon. He's just watching the ball. I want him to dive for the ball. If you want that possession, kailangan mo eh. All the intangibles. Every time I say, especially on this game, in this kind of game. Brand new, three ball, no good. Rebound, got Experto. God Experto needs to be more consistent with uh, his rebounding numbers. Again, sabi mo nga sa kanya, nakatingin lang siya dito sa kabilang side. This time, buti, nakuha niya yung rebound. But, kung kailangan mo manalo eh, kahit na, you know, it's not your advantage on that loose ball, kailangan mo i-dive eh, kailangan mo yung palaban ka. Kailangan talagang, kung, kung hang, hanggang dito na lang eh, kumbaga yung game ninyo, you need to fight for every loose ball. Yeah, it's either win or go home for Alza. If you really want to win, you need to fight for every possession. Especially on this last three, four minutes of the game. Yes, and uh, syempre gusto mo magkaroon for Alza. Gusto mo pa magkaroon ng chance to play tomorrow. Just like what Kapatagan did earlier against uh, Pagadian. Oo, kailangan mong lalaban ka. Here's JC Apelio now. Contra Aaron Herruta. Apelio, pass. Shot done. Sara, no good. That's a good pass by Apelio. A sorry miss by Sara. It's just so open on that shot. Two minutes and 25. Ano titira dito? Sari fourth quarter. Franyu. Jerwin, wide open. No good. Rebound. Last touch on a JPS player. It's Ferrer on that rebound of Pipito. Jeff Taunera, papalitan muna si uh, Charles Pipito. Maybe about a minute of rest for Charles Pipito. And the coach Bongabad will sue for time. Timeout muna tayo. 65-61. You fuel us, we fuel you. Gatorade studies the best athletes to create the most advanced sports fuel with fluids, electrolytes, and carbohydrates. So you can play your best. Nothing beats Gatorade. You take a look at the JPS Amwanga City. They are on top here by four. And once again, they have the twice to beat advantage dito sa quarterfinal series nila against Alza Alayon. And for Alza, it's win or go home for them. Yes. On this possession, they just need a good offensive flow. If it's open for a three, you need to take it. But you don't need a quick three here with 2 minutes and 16 seconds left malayo pa to Alvin kaya pinag-uusapan niya natin dito will we have a double header tomorrow or will we just have one game tomorrow afternoon but for me personally i want to have a two game day tomorrow yes syempre at uh, magandang uh, magtuloy-tuloy nga ito ang kumpanya ng Alza Lion as Dan Sara scores there as we are about to enter the Twilight Zone, the last two minutes of this game. As it's 65-63, Kapet 
para Dian Cabet Mindanao. Pass, German Gago, shot. It's no good. Gabi Espinas all alone for the rebound and the stick back. Sayang eh. Dennis Daa already got that ball. Medyo wala sa timing lang. Eloy Poligrate scoring there. And Eloy Poligrates, whenever you need the point, just dial number 35. Yeah, but beyond that point for Poligrates, the good thing for here today is he's defending. Yes, yun niya yung lumalabas eh. Yung depensa niya here in this game as Eloy Poligrates troops to the free throw line. This free throw is brought to you by Chicks to Go. 100% zero antibiotics sa nag-iisang manok ng bayan. Eloy, free throw is good. Isa na lang to. No here. need to foul here. Yes. For Alza, they just need a good stop, a good challenge. Both teams in the penalty. Meaning any foul by both squads will mean free throws. Heruta, nahihirapan, binigay kay Franjo. Espinas, balik kay Franjo. Franjo, slipped out of bounds. Good defense, just lucky possession for Alza as Espinas did not see from the back. Gako open in the shaded area. And right now, let's take a look at that. Franjo. Yun, nagdun na siya. Dun sa pag-drive. So, Alza Alliance on Buanca. Sus for time. It's just a one-point lead for JPS. Tingnan natin kung ano ang play na ito drop ni Coach Bongabad after this timeout. Hindi lahat ng produkto ay gusto kong i-endorso at ang napili ko ay bagay lamang na pakinabangan ng kamay nila dahil para sa akin, it's all about giving back. Pero ang manok ng bayan, hindi ko matanggihan. Bukod sa sobrang sarap na, sa bawat manok na binibili nyo ay may nakalaan para sa atletang Pilipino at sa mga kapuspalad nating mga kababayan. Ang manok na rapsa kahit alaws na sos. Choose to go ang nag-iisang nokma ni Yorma. Please like and share our Facebook page at Pilipinas Pismin Super Cup Official. And if you want to watch our games from the Visayas leg and the Mindanao leg, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pilipinas Pismin Super Cup. Game reset natin dito, Paul Hoven. Timeout situation, dalawa para sa Alza, isa para sa JPS, both teams in the penalty. They need to be smart here. I'm talking about the coaches for Zamboanga, Coach uh, Tony Pardo, and for Alza, Bong Abad. Matagal pa to. With 1 minute and 14 seconds, kailangan yung mga timeout mo, timing. And for sure, sabi ko nga kanina, nanonood na nga sila Coach Miguel Borilla because if JPS wins this game, they will have a semi-final round one date with Clarin. Yeah, that will be a best of three yes. series. So, tinan natin yun. A minute and ten, Dan Sara gets the ball. Sara, binigay dito, Tahonera for three! No, rebound, nakuha ni Franjo. That's a good shot by Tahonera. Good recognition by Sara, they just need to stop here. Under a minute, yes. Under a minute left here. Heruta. No, no need to foul. Binigay ni Franjo, shot clock at 10. Franjo. Pass inside, Espinas. Three seconds. And that is a shot lock violation. Good defense from Dennis Daa. You know, credit that defense to Dennis Daa. He was very disciplined. Hindi ko nga gusto yung ginawa ni Habelio. He was trying to help out. Trying to reach in. Ang problema doon, Alvin, baka ma-foul ka pa. And JP, or Alza Alliance Zamboanga uses their one of their remaining two timeouts here. And 67-66. Let's uh, check on what they will play. They will draw up in this play when we come back.
166, a one-point lead para dito sa kubonan ng JPS. But Alza Alayon has the ball in this position. You know what, Alvin? If I'm the coach of Alza, Coach Bong Abad, kailangan kong ilagay yung bola kay Dan Zara. Maybe double screen on top. Let him decide on that final play. Kasi mahilap, if you want polygratis on the ball, you know that this guy is very aggressive, especially attacking the shaded area. 10.9 seconds differential, shot clock and game clock. Babalik pa to sa yes. Sabuaga. So, let's see how they will shoot in this possession. Polygratis for three, no good. And rebound here by Espina, shot clock is off. And they need to foul here. Pero tumawag ng timeout dito. Si Rudy Lingganay. And that was a an early shot by Eloy Poligrates on that possession. That's a bad shot for Poligrates. Marami pang oras on the shot clock. They need a stop here. Yes. A, a quick steal and a foul. And ito naman JPS. Uh, with 17.6 seconds remaining, hindi pa rin sila pwede magpakumpiyansa dito because expect a foul or even a trap muna from this Alza Alliance Azambuanga squad. Yeah, just maybe you can get a steal pag wala, one to two seconds, foul immediately. Yes, oh, hindi pwedeng paubos nila yung oras dito. And you see there, Coach Bong Abad uh, talking to his boys right now. Ito, pinasik, I think papasok na si Cruz. This will be for defense. Yes, for defensive purposes to. Kailangan niya ipasok dyan si Pipito. Sino pa? For all that rotation, automatic double team. Yung gusto ko dito. And let's see what uh, they will do here. They will stick with Jeff Tahonera on the floor. But Darrell Cruz will be checking in here. Darrell Cruz, kasama niya sa loob si Dan Sara, J.C. Habelio, Dennis Da, and Jeff Tahonera. Walang kukurap. We will have a beautiful ending here. Yes. Uh, just uh, like uh, the elimination uh, round. Oo. Kaya nga dito, uh, yung uh, game story natin doon sa elimination round, almost you for JPS. Oh, you know what, Alvin? Pagod na ako. I know pagod ka na rin, but I want <laughs> overtime. Uh, who would not want that uh, additional five minutes? But let's see how this game will go. They went over to Aaron Hiruta. No foul here. And the ball. And uh, then it's now fouling there. Nam nawala. Halos limang segundo. Doon sa game clock. Yeah, the problem there is Hiruta got the ball in the middle. Dapat kasi sa gilid eh. That's your trapping area. Eh, wala. They did not they didn't yeah. play the passing lane. The former UE Red Warrior and the current Latran Knight, Fran Yu, the former NCAA Finals MVP, hits the first free throw. 11 points now for Fran Yu. After that hit by Fran Yu, after that made, kitang kita mo, he's just waving his head. No? These free throws are brought to you by Chicks to Go 100% Zero Antibiotics. Anagisang, Manok ng Bayan. That free throw is good. But still, a one-possession game here. A 69-66 hour score. Coach Bong Abad will surely draw up a play here for a, for a three points. Of course, no, kailangan na talaga ng three points. Mahirap na if they will have a quick two and a foul. Kasi nga, that is their last timeout. Yes. Wala na timeout niya ang Alza Alliance Zamboanga. Habang itong kupo na ng JPS ay wala na rin timeout so kaya ba papasok na niya dito sa loob sila Andrean Celada nakikita ko nandun na Celada Poligrates is also back there so let's see what play Coach Bong Abad will be drawing up in this last 11.3 seconds of this matchup for me if Coach Tony Pardo he can't play a zone here kailangan yung mga smalls niya automatic switch if there's a problem Kailangan mo namang yung big man at small, pwede na yun. You cannot let an attempt or an open attempt for Alza on that three. You rather give him that easy two points compared on the three-point line. 
Let's review the five on the floor. We have Fran Yu, Gabby Espinas, Jerwin Gaco, Aaron Hiruta, and Rudy Linganay para sa JPS. Para naman dito sa Alza Alliance, they have Eloy Poligrates, Dennis Daa, Andrian Celada, JC Abelio, and Dan Sara. So they have Celada on the floor. So expect some of their shooters to get a hold of this ball in this final 11.3 seconds. Hold on tight. I smell overtime. Yes. Kapit Pagadian. Poligrates, Milikiki Dan Sara. Sara contra Linganay. Shot, game clock at 5 seconds. Poligrates. Balik Dan Sara. Shot. Huli ni Fran Yu. And that will be it. As JPS Zamboanga City moves on to the semifinals. While ito namang Alza Alayon Zamboanga bows out of contention dito sa ating Mindanao leg. You know what a game. What a courage shown by Alza. They did not waver on that second quarter. They played on good on the third one. Pero dito na nga kinapos. Sayang eh. That dance out three pointer. Pwede pa yung extra pass. Silada open on the uh, corner three. You can see our final score 69 66. A three point victory by JPS Zamboanga. As we just await our. Sportsmanship moment and our Manok Tambayan player of the game. But hats off to Alza Alliance Zamboanga. Another close one for them. But again, in the last part of the, the quarter, dun na sila talaga muy bitaw. Of course, now again, it's based on that you know game time decision. For me, last two possessions, it's a bad shot by Polegrates. It's not an open shot, naman eh. You need to really move down, move the ball. At that time, my five seconds pa sila on the chat clock. Let us now take a look at our Manok ng Bayan sportsmanship moment. This will be awarded to a guy na regular na natin dito sa sportsmanship moment. You take a look at brand new. Our Manok ng Bayan sportsmanship moment is brought to you by Chiptigo 100% Zero Antibiotics. Yan na nag-iisang Manok ng Bayan. Nakakailan na kaya to si Fran Yu na ano, GC natin. Yeah. <laughs> but credit to Fran Yu, that free throw, ice in his veins. Yes, and also that defense on Dan Sara. On the, Maganda on yun. On the three-point yes. shot. Yes, so, alam na alam niya, napupunta yung bola dito kay Dan Sara. Again, our score is 69-66. And our Manok Nambayan player of the game, this guy, after he was injured in their last few games, played well in this game, finishing with a double-double performance. And our Manok Nambayan player of the game is Gabi Espinas with 14 points and 10 rebounds. Kasama siya ngayon ng ating si Leo Coronado. Lea, take it away. Thank you so much, Coach Alvin. At kasama ko ngayon ating Chooks to Go Manok Nambayan best player of the game, Gabi Espinas from JPS Zamboanga City. Finishing up with a double-double performance, 14 points and 10 rebounds. First of all, Gabi, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. During the elimination round, ay wala pang game na nabuo kayo. Pero ngayon na nakabalik ka na at kompleto kayo, medyo nag-struggle pa rin kayo, lalo na ng last two minutes. Ano ba ang nangyari at ano yung mga nasa isip mo during that game? Uh, yung nasa isip ko, yung totoo, gusto ko lang talaga manalo kasi yung dalawang talo namin past few games talagang nakakahiya. Uh, galit na nga yata yung mga taga-sambuanga sa amin kasi yung sa laro yung something tapos yung sa Brazilian so na malaki so yun ako naman gusto ko lang makatulong sa team sabi nga ni coach Tony kanina na kahit na twice to beat advantage kayo paano nyo ginawa yun and what was different for today's game ako sa'yo rin wala eh kasi ganun naman sa basketball di ba nananalo natatalo pero siyempre gusto mong bumawi tapos hindi namin iniisip na twice to beat kami uh, iniisip namin wala na kaming game bukas uuwi na kami so yun, uh, yun lang nasa mindset namin, tapusin namin yung game ngayon, uh, magpahinga kami bukas, tapos practice ulit, for clarity naman. Gabi, since you were the best player of the game, may gusto ka bang batiin at pasalamatan? Uh, Unang-una, binabati ko yung family ko, uh, wife ko, yung four kids ko, tapos si Asik, Asik, salamat sa support ha. tapos mga teammates ko, tapos sila 
Consel Pinpin, si Boss RNJ, si Kim Baez, si Boss Jeric, Mayor Bing Lima ko. Tapos, uh, siyempre yung mga teammate ko, uh, si Boss RJ, RJ Martinez. Thank you so much, Gabby, and great job for today. Thank you, thank you. Once again, congratulations. That is our Chicks to Go Manok ng Bayan Best Player of the Game, Gabby Espinas from JPS Zambanga City. Back to you guys. Walang inaatrasan at hindi mapipigilan si Gabby Espinas, ang ating Manok ng Bayan Player of the Game. At sa inyo ng Chicks to Go, ang nag-iisang Manok ng Bayan, garantisa ng zero antibiotics. Another first from Bounty Agro Ventures Incorporated. 69-66 ball, our final score. And our game tomorrow, our loan game for tomorrow, it is going to be a good one. A do or die matchup para sa huling spot sa ating semifinals round one. You know, you expect tomorrow, Pagadian will play aggressive energy, especially on that loss earlier today. That will be at 5 p.m. The Pagadian scores going up. Against dito sa Kapatagan, Buffalo Braves For my partner, Paul Hoven For our courtside reporter, Leia Coronado My name is Alvin Tanyada And this has been your Chips to Go Filipinas Bismin Super Cup Ato Nibay